I recently had a life-changing encounter with God in the closet. I was just there waiting, worshiping, resting upon Him. This is how you let Him hold you. And as I laid there, letting Him hold me in that chair, I saw something. It was a beautiful vision of Jesus walking towards me with a massive paintbrush in His hand, dripping with paint. And when he got close to me, he slapped this smile on my face and he grabbed my shoulders and he said, happily enjoy all the details of your life. I immediately remembered Joel 1.12 where the scripture talks about the state of God's people. Their joy has dried up. And I really believe that this is a case for a lot of Christians is their joy has dried up. If joy has dried up, it shows that the source of the joy is disconnected with. This joy that God has given to us is not circumstantial. It's not dependent upon situations. It is entirely dependent upon the presence of the Spirit. I really feel like God wants to give men wine to drink to make their hearts joyful, that their faces may glisten with oil. Oh, the oil of the Spirit that is born on the outside of the man rests upon joy implanted on the inside of the man through imbibing, drinking the wine of heaven. I want to encourage you to spend time just simply drinking of him, letting that wine go in, that it might burst joy on the inside, that your face may glisten with oil. This is God's desire, is that his nature would be in us through us receiving His Spirit. And that looks like something. It looks like taking time to lay with Him, to rest upon Him, direct contact, resting in His presence, drinking and eating of Him, and letting Him be all. The image of Jesus is nothing other than the fruit of the presence of God in our lives. We as God's people who have His Spirit have the taste of the coming age. Spirit has this way of mystically taking you to the future and bringing its realities here, though here you are currently there, so that the realities of what is coming are lived in your now. Somebody once said, only if we are occupied with the eternal can we be of any significance to the now. And I believe that's true but even in this sense, that only as the age to come is experienced now can we be ready for it when it comes. The scriptures say we are seated with Him in heavenly places. It is the communion with God's Spirit that is the experience and reality of this simultaneous dwelling on heaven and on earth. The presence of the Spirit the anointing of the oil of gladness gives us joy unspeakable, unquenchable, unhindered.